Hey everybody, how's it going? So here's the deal. A couple of weeks ago, I was out at the thrift store with my girlfriend. Uh, and I came across this. It's a really nice box. No, that's not actually what we're going to be working on today. So I'm going to be modifying this uh, and doing a uh, prop realistic paint job on it and you're going to do it with me start to finish. You can use any gun. I think the last one I did was actually The last one I did was this, pretty good. And before that, I did this one. Uh, there's actually a tutorial on how I did this one already up on my channel, if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna take it from this, or we're gonna take it from this to something like this that you could like actually use in a film, short, video, whatever. Anyway, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we do is sand. Unfortunately, this is the most boring and most tedious part of it, but you are going to get the best results as long as you take this one crucial step. You're gonna wanna get into all the nooks and crannies go over the entire thing. This is obviously compressed to about two or three minutes, but uh, in reality, I spent probably 45 minutes to an hour sanding over all of the different things, the whole gun, the magazines, the Uh, the the site and I am fortunate enough to have a compressor and uh, so I could blast it out and get rid of all of the major excess dust and grime but not everybody's gonna have that honestly you just need a wet rag and you just make sure you go over all of it and get all the leftover grit and dust off of it. Of course, always important to keep a clean environment. So the second step and uh, I'm kind of working in reverse here because this helps give it kind of a metallic look no matter what you're doing. But uh, you're gonna wanna spray paint it silver. Make sure you're getting into all of the little spots that uh, you might not catch. Wire hangers are a really good asset resource for this. Again, making sure you get everywhere that is going to be visible. You want to give it no less than an hour of dry time to make sure that the paint has cured. But once you've done that, it's safe to start doing the black layer. 
And you see how as I layer on the paint, it gives that gunmetal silver color. I'm holding it a little far away, but that's to make sure that uh, I'm not over coating it because I still want that kind of metallic sheen to come through. casuals out there if that's all you want to do that's probably good enough uh, you know it'll look a lot better than just a toy you picked up from the thrift store or Walmart or whatever but won't stand up to close scrutiny but hey you know sometimes that's all it takes shit sometimes that's all you really need or want so if you are good with that then that'll work so you don't need to watch any more of this video however if you want to stick around and make it look like something you pulled off of the set of an actual star wars movie then stick around and check out the rest of this video thanks all right so Now we're getting into the weathering. <clears throat> the ticket here is to hit all of the edges. You want to make sure that uh, you're not overdoing it. You want you don't want to totally silver it out, but you want to hit all the raised edges anywhere that you think is going to make contact. At any given point, you know, like think about the way that you hold it, the, the kind of, the way it's going to bump up against things, the way it's going to hit things, anywhere that there's going to be wear, you want to just take the cloth and lightly hit the edges to give it highlights, essentially. You don't want to go too crazy, but you do want to make sure that it looks adequately worn. And this is going to make it really, it's going to make all of the details on the gun pop. using a heat gun, but you don't have to use a heat gun as long as you're giving adequate time for it to dry. Because I'm using spray paint which takes a while to dry if you're not careful. If you're in a cold environment, then it's going to take a long time. All right, now we're getting into the weathering wash, which is just acrylic paint and uh, a lot of water. Mix it up 
you just spread it into all of the cracks everywhere that you're essentially doing the opposite of the previous weathering step which is you're getting all the high ang you're getting all the high parts of the weapon now you're filling in all of the low points with black and giving it some contrast and then wiping off all of the excess. Once again, letting it dry, making sure that it is fully cured. I was really impatient on this one, so I hit it with the, the heat gun for a long time. And for the last step, you need polyurethane. <clears throat> you can use spray. I prefer to use the brush on because you get a nice thick layer, nice thick coat. And as you can see, I got it back on the wire hanger hooks, completely coating it, making sure that every single inch of it is covered, perhaps a little too much, honestly. Again, going over every single inch of the thing in excess. Because honestly, the more you put on it, the better protected your paint is going to be. And then you just let it dry. I let mine dry for about two days, honestly. But really, if you're using spray on, you only need about a day. And of course, you got to clean up your workspace once you're done. Thank you.